do we have anyone um, with us tonight? If you are joining us on this call, please say hello. Let us know that you're there. It's always nice. Any questions, please? Um, questions spe specifically around pools in your garden and hot tubs and things like that. So tonight we're, uh, we're going to get wet and wild, I think, <laughs> with uh, our, our webinar. Try and entertain you on a, on, a, on a Thursday night and talk about pools and gardens. Talking about pools and gardens, I've had a few challenges with uh, <laughs> pools in gardens myself recently, particularly around supplying, supply issues and whatever, but it seems to be easing up a little bit as we move out uh, uh, towards the end of the summer. Things have start, start getting a lot better and that's good for us, obviously, because we're definitely looking for the new year now for people that want to invest in pools and start doing the planning and everything. So, um, Jeff, it, if you've seen like a, a bit of an uptake in, in people wanting pools, it seems like a lot, a lot of pools are coming through in terms of inquiries at the moment. Mm. A, lot, a lot of pools going into the designs. The, the challenge is around equipment um, and the timeframes on getting hold of stuff. It's almost like you go double or triple in, some cases of just getting some simple things. So yeah. um, that's the challenge we've got. Yeah. Uh, everybody wants to swim. <laughs> <laughs> I was just picturing Jeff in his speedos as we, uh, as we, as we, as we said that. So shall we, we'll go dive in and have a look at the, Jody, what was that all for? Send love our eyes. If you want to see Jeff in his speedos and we'll get him on next week. I um, mean, he's, he's budgie smugglers. Oh, so God. we're going to have a look at some, um, pictures of some pools we're going to talk around pictures of pools but if anyone's just joining us um let us know that you're there say hello we'd love to speak to you and also um and we'll give you a shout out as well if you um if you if you comment and also if you're watching back later on it's hashtag replay remember that um because you guys matter to us as well so i'm going to drop on to um, the presentation as soon as Jodie allows me to share. Oh, every time. Well, you've got to do it every time, haven't we? Otherwise, it, it, wouldn't, mean, it wouldn't mean anything, would it? At least I'm cons consistent. Yep. Consistently forgetful. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's put my glasses on. Make sure I have a good look at this pool on this uh, presentation. Uh, it's going to be awesome today. There's just something about a pool on a design that makes it look so much better for me. I remember we did dined one years ago, Oops. Jeff, before, before we could even, you know, put fences up, we designed a pool in, I remember, and it had like a moving, it had like a, uh, a lawn that, or a deck or something that opened up over it. And we had this like really elaborate um, engineering project that we'd created I think we priced it about 10 grand or something. And I'm thinking, wow, well, we would have been out of business had we got that job. So <laughs> that was one of the few that I'm glad we didn't get. But anyway, it was, uh, it did look nice. And I just remembered from that point that we'd end up doing pools at some point. And here we are. So designing around pools and hot tubs specifically, then it's not necessarily if you want a pool fitted, but you might have a pool already. Mm -hmm. a hot tub and and what we could do to design around it is that am i am i in the right sort of wheelhouse there yeah a bit of both um quite a, a number of our clients or like you say already have pools and are looking to landscape around them so it's just talking about how to make the surrounding area um usable as well as look you know really stunning as well because it's a they are big features in in anyone's garden so it's got to tie in with the surrounding landscape as well Indeed. Jeff, any comments on that? No. No. No, no, no comment. comment. There we go. We're in, under interrogation now. We don't really have to wear your speedos. <laughs> you, shouldn't, you shouldn't own speedos anyway, really, but yeah, but you do. So best poolside surfaces then. Um, composite deck, millboard, treks, that kind of thing seems to be really, really popular. Because obviously you've got electrics as well, haven't you? So it mm -hmm. seems to be uh, less permanent. So it's easier for maintenance. But look, go for it. I'll, I'll leave it to you two. You guys are the designers. Go on then, Jeff. Talk to us about composite decking. The pros and the cons. Okay. Um, 
No, you uh, can't get over the speedos. Tom, I've got over the speedos. I've got them on. Um, I've, the composite decking is good around pools. Obviously, the water can drain through freely, and, and you know it's, it's quite a soft surface as well. Um, and also, it gives you that option. Like I say, you can you can put like the the equipment for the pool underneath there. You can you can hide it um, quite nicely with panels. You know, we've done that quite a lot. Um, we're just doing one recently with the composite decking and it's like got an automated cover. So you've got to build structures around. It's just so much easier to, to do it that way as well. And it looks, it looks really nice. There's lots of different options with composite decking as well now, colors, styles. There's um, every, every year there's like an, another 10 companies come in with samples. So it's just endless of what you can do with that. Um, it's a good option really, composite deck, especially if you're raising up around the pools as well, helps you get your levels about building lots of walls and uh, lots of structural work. Uh, so decking is a good way to, to do that. And then we've got porcelain. A lot of people um, raving about Oops. porcelain at the minute. Um, porcelain is uh, so sort of renowned to be slippy and the, 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 there's a massive variety now on the market. There's, it's all textured and they sort of, you know, sort of worked that out. Um, so there's lots of different options for porcelain around the pool. Um, good thing with porcelain, it doesn't get too hot with the sun, um, whereas a uh, sandstone and stuff holds the heat. So, yeah. so it's, quite, it's quite a nice product for that. that reason. Yeah, and like you said, with porcelain, it's got a bit of a bad rep for being slippy, which is actually not not correct at all. It it looks slippy because it's a smooth surface, so it, it the water the water kind of looks like it's reflecting off it, but it's not slippy. It's actually very low porosity, so it's not absorbing the water, which which makes it less slippy so around the pool it's it's got a number of pros it's it's nice to feel underfoot because you the both areas are going to be walking around bare feet like jeff said it's cool um and it looks it looks great and it especially looks great when it's got some water on it as well um not to say you can't use sandstone around a pool but it's got a um higher rate of porosity so it's gonna absorb the water and you're especially bringing more water onto paving around the pool as you leave the pool so having a paving that's more porous is going to lead it open to you know to growing algae and things like that and it's that that makes it slippy yeah i can definitely agree with the um the the porcelain uh, not so much on the slippy bit i'm not uh, you know everything's a little bit slippy isn't it let's face of course, it yeah. Uh, but the, the porcelain looks great with water on it, um, but not be to be mistaken with when it rains, it does look good. But this is like just the footprints from coming out of the pool and stuff. It's just, it, it, it does look great. And Jeff's right on that. It is quite cool, actually. I've changed my um, natural sandstone paving, which was definitely warm under of foot to the porcelain. And it's always nice and cool, which is cool, which is cool. It's cool, yeah. <laughs> I said cool enough yet. Interestingly, I wrote an article about that in uh, in this month's magazine about keeping cool with paving and porcelain being the feature of that. Excellent. <laughs> so if you've signed up for the uh, <laughs> magazine, you'll, you'll get to read that. If you haven't signed up for the magazine, there's going to be a link in the comments any second now. <laughs> Design elements. Talk to us, designers. The good thing, the good thing with designing a pool is, um, you know, you can be really creative with what goes around it. Uh, there's, there's a few different designs. I actually, I actually got Jodie last minute with one of the slides because you'd missed it. It's one of my favourite designs um, with the swimming pools. It almost looks like there's two designs with that, which we'll show you in a sec. But yeah, it, it just creates a holiday, holiday feel instantly uh, with a design like that. Yeah, and there's um, there's more to it than just paving around the pool. You know, it's a it's almost like a complex. We've got on the on the top design especially. We've got a sunken seating area. Then we've got a kitchen over the other side. It's it's a complete resort um, in in your back garden. So adults, children alike can be entertained in in one space. And you keep your eye on the children in the pool, or adults in the pool, whichever way it goes. But yeah, it's full full entertaining space and something a little bit more simpler with the other design. Nice pool there nestled in a slope and got a bit of a pool house so you can go uh, chill under some shelter or a changing room in there. Um, just thinking, you know, generally pools are a little bit further away from the house. So 
you don't want to keep going back to the house to get stuff you want to have it all in one place and and that's what makes the experience more pleasurable i love these both of these designs i'm trying to think of of, of which project this was jeff the one on the bottom left that's seek that's in that's in uh stanford mm. right okay yeah i remember remember that and, and what about the one at the top right that is um warwickshire ah, okay so all over mm. all over You're national <laughs> Very national, love it. Um, uh, actually, anyone watching now or watching back, any comments, any anything that they want to share? Flamingos back. Flamingos are not Christmas. Are your Christmas jumpers are they? There you are. Here we go, we go again. We go back to to, to flamingos. <clears throat> See that flamingo looks much better there than it did on the Christmas jumper. <laughs> so, wow, yeah, I love I love this. I like particularly the, the one on the right, which is the actual garden versus the, the design here. Um, talk, talk us through the design elements. So anybody that's uh, watching again, you know, interact with us. Let us know that you're there. Um, comment, you know, um, on, on the videos as well. So this, um, <clears throat> this is the actual slide that Jody's put together last minute for me. Thank you, Jody. <laughs> um, the garden on the left just works out lovely. Um, it almost looks like there's two designs there that have just pieced together, uh, which works. It flows really nicely out into the garden. Um, open garden, so it's lots of sun, not much shade. So we created like a, a hut at the side of the pool so you can actually go and get, get some shade there and uh, maybe a little change your room or whatever. You. We've not actually built this garden yet, um, but that's, that's in the pipeline. But the one on the right we've actually built, uh, that's finished now, uh, renders all done, looks looks like an amazing space um you'd want that as a dream garden isn't that mm -hmm. lots of fun in that garden you can't see the whole garden but there's actually a five-a-side football pitch there's a sunken fire pit there's a hot tub a kitchen tv wall you know just ticks all the boxes for me personally so it's a fantastic garden yeah Mm. Anything, anything else to add designers jody you're not supposed to be admiring your work you're supposed to be talking about it <laughs> Um, I love the feeling of the, the the 3D design. I love the feeling of them both, but the the one on the one in the left, I feel like I'm looking out from my balcony at a hotel room, and that's you know the view down to the to the pool. It's very, I keep saying it's very resort like. It's it's difficult to believe that that is someone's house, and how incredible to have that in your back garden, even in the winter, because we've used evergreen, mostly evergreen planting in this design. Um, there's lots of lighting in that design as well so that can be enjoyed all times of the year um, and the pool no doubt is probably heated so you can you can swim in in snow if that's if that's your gig certainly would be mine if I owned a garden like that certainly true from flamingos <laughs> yeah it, it is it's got everything hasn't it it is a bit resort like you know it's perfect yeah um the materials we designed in this uh, was composite Jeff and, and porcelain, or was it composite and sandstone? It's actually sawn sandstone, the, the patch on the left. Nice. Um, and then the composite decking around the pool, and then the, the project on the right is actually all porcelain. Mm. Okay, the, nice. The, the porcelain we actually taken, we took up from this project was, was really slippery, if you remember. Mm. The porcelain around the house, it was, I think it was an indoor product they'd used outside. Mm. Um, and then we replaced all of that with some new stuff because it, mm. it was deadly around the pool. So that, that's uh, all porcelain on the right. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, ah, privacy shelters. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Uh, just a few examples of um, how you can privatise the garden. Obviously, it's most commonly um, people are overlooked nowadays. So it's just making sure that you feel comfortable when you're outside in the pool or in the hot tub. It's obviously most common to have shelters over hot tub because the size of them. Um, but it's not to say you can't screen um, views from pools. We've, we've just um, come into the end of a job at the moment where they've got a, 
it's a pool on the on a terrace and then the rest of the garden slopes down so we've got some a line of bleach trees at the back just to um aid the views in that so that's that's one option but then we've got shade sails um picture on the left we've got uh, a glass bespoke glass building over the over the sides of the swim spa and, and the hot tub there um, maintaining the views out the rest of the garden just giving a, a little bit of shelter in, in case the, the weather does turn or just a, a simple timber shelter which we we do design in a lot they're very popular aren't they yes it's the, the, the bottom the bottom um it's a bit special isn't it that's that's been the bespoke but the top one you can see there like the sort of um hip roof on that you can buy them flat packed uh, put them on yourself in a couple of days uh very very popular um as a simple structure over over hot tubs or little kitchen areas mm. uh, but then the one on the bottom is it's actually got sliding doors on the front and side that opens up onto the hot tub area <clears throat> we've actually built the garden but not installed the swim spa yet we're still waiting for that but that's a that's a lovely space Great way of introducing height into the garden as well, which just brings a bit of balance to the space. You know, some of these gardens, if they didn't have that uh, upward features in them, they'd, they'd feel a little bit flat. Um, and, and, and I don't want to say bland, but, you know, there would be a big expanse of space and nowhere for your eye to rest. So they, they do all double-edged sword, really. Um, you get the privacy, you get a bit of height, you create more interest in your garden, and you also um, designate in an area to to your hot tub which some people like and some people don't it depends how you design it if a, a great design will design a hot tub into the space and it won't it won't feel like it's just swamped it'll feel part of part of the garden and it annoys the neighbors and <laughs> annoys the neighbors. they're really intrigued to see what's going on in there but they can't they can <laughs> hear, hear the noise so yeah there's loads of benefits there depending on what mood you're in <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, in the day when 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 you're using it so i did extras as I, I, did, I love the shower idea actually no, yeah was, the shower is great like i said at the start you don't want to have to keep going back to the house you might be far away from the house and just while you're out you just want to stay out so you want to make the space as comfortable as you can and um shower outdoor showers quite popular um very on trend and they're useful as well um obviously we've got some nice furniture whether it's rattan or sun lounges it's this nice little day bed um and not forgetting somewhere to set your towels i noticed when i came to your garden earlier baz you had a towel rack next to your hot tub which i liked yeah we did yeah um, i think didn't you guys buy me that for my birthday, I can't remember. No, we didn't buy that. We bought you something very similar, but no, I don't think. Yeah, well, my wife maybe bought it then. But yeah, it's got it's got the uh, the hooks for the towels. You just mm. think and you end up putting them down on on the patio furniture or whatever. But yeah, it's it's such a uh, low cost thing to do, but something that you can forget as well when you mm -hmm. when you when you put in the hot tub. Um, so have you got one of those day bed? things haven't you similar yeah we have yeah it's not it's not like that ours is like a, a mesh but so the so the the air can get underneath so when you um you know when it's hot in the summer it's really nice place to sit uh it's it's, it's, uh, it's got like a shade that comes over and uh i'm, I'm a shade loving man yeah <laughs> you fell asleep on there a few times haven't you indeed it's completely great, sober it's a great hangover bed <laughs> yeah, that's right. It? So it's not a day bed anymore. It's a hangover, hangover bed. bed. Yeah, but the... that outdoor shower is great. We've got we got hot tub. We've got obviously uh, children children's area. We've got sand pit. Sand actually ruins hot tubs. So to have have an outdoor shower to clean the sand off before the kids get in and out is, is uh, sort of advised. Uh, so yeah, not, with that. Uh, well. Don't they? I don't know if I'm right in saying this, but don't they? Don't they say that your own body sweat can affect the chemicals in in the hot tub as well? And have yeah. I made that up, or is that a thing? You made it up, but it made a good talking point. <laughs> you are and how much you sweat. There you go. I'm sure I heard that before. If not, yeah, I it's, don't know. In hot tubs, you get like hair gel or, or makeup and stuff like that. It actually. Mm. Like oil base that floats on the top of the water. Nice. You can make it quite a 
an unpleasant place to be. Mm. So showers useful and you can make them look great as well. Um, yeah, I think that might be the last slide, Isabel. Ah, wow, is it? I think so. Yeah, yeah, let us know your questions. Nobody got any questions. No, not too many people with us tonight. It must be the weather. Must be the weather. Or, or the... is football on? <laughs> ah, there's no football on. Oh. It's, uh... well, we've designed and built all the gardens that the people that was on here, they're all in their garden now. Mm -hmm. so we need some more people to come along and get their gardens. That, that, that could be very true, yeah. <laughs> but it's also a nice evening as well isn't it so it's not about people turning up and watching it's about <laughs> watching anyway you know watch it back watch it in six weeks watch it in two years time because the video is always going to be on the page so it really doesn't matter you just keep sharing the the knowledge and the information and and and, and people watch it so there you go um so i've got nothing else really to to say on that i think the slides do all the talking really yeah. Um, with it. And like everybody else that's not with us tonight at this point, I'm going to go and enjoy the sunshine if that's okay with you guys. Likewise. Right. So thanks everyone for who is watching, for anyone who's who, who's watching back later on. Remember, hashtag replay, <laughs> uh, ask questions and, and we'll be sure to answer them for you. Or Jody will, anyway. And, and again, <laughs> thanks to Jody for, for looking after the Facebook page, the group, and doing everything that. You guys see every day because me and Jeff don't. We just <laughs> turn up here and be annoying. That's our job. Thank you. Thank Cheers, you. everyone. Thanks, guys. <laughs>